Hello Kingdom Kids. Thank you for joining us for our Wednesday night um, object lesson. Today we're in the book of Psalms. We're in chapter or Psalms 139. That's 139. We're going to be focusing on verses 1 through 4, but I'm going to read you verses 1 through 6. And our Bible point for today is that God knows us and he knows any everything about us from the moment that we're going to be born all the way until we die and we're back with them. So he knows a lot. So let's see what King David had to say about God's knowledge of him. It says, Jace, can you stop for a moment? Oh, Lord, you have searched me and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my laying down. You are familiar with all of my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you know how to completely, O Lord. You know it completely, O Lord. You hem me in behind and before. You have laid your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to attain. So God knows so much information about us that we can't even comprehend it. David says that, you know, when I sit down, you know, when I stand up, you know what, what words are in my mouth before they come out. You know, my thoughts, my coming and going, you're before me and you're behind me. You're everywhere. It's just so much when I stop and think about it, it's overwhelming and I can't even comprehend how much you know. It's so amazing. And kind of another way to put it, Jesus said it himself in Luke chapter 12, verse 7. Jesus says, Indeed, the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Don't be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. All the num all the hairs on our head are numbered. That's crazy. Could you imagine? I couldn't even begin to count the hairs on my head. I mean, look, look. I couldn't count all that. Let alone the ones that are really tiny or the ones that are going to fall out. Think about every day. You wash your hair, you brush your hair, and, and it falls out and it grows back. That's a lot of numbers to keep track of. And if God knows all those for every single person, and that's just one detail he would know. I can't imagine all the stuff that he does know. Jace, how do you feel knowing that God knows how many hairs are on your head? Could you? How many hairs do you think are on your head? Orange. <laughs> Orange. Could you count the, the amount of hairs on your head? Orange. Can you answer? Orange. Oh, the answer is answer. Okay. Okay. Do you know the hairs on your head? No. Could you count that high? No. Could you count my hairs? No, you can't count my hairs? Yeah. What do you know? I don't know. Do you know all this stuff God knows? No. God knows a lot of stuff, huh? I don't know. So, we're going to play a game. And what we're going to do is we're going to see how much uh, Mr. Rick, Jace's dad, knows him. And so what we're going to do is we have these items here on the table that Jace is playing with. Jace, I need you to listen to the rules of the game, okay? So we have all these items here on the table. Put it down. Can you hear me? Yeah. I want you, the rules of the game are, you can pick anything on this table. Yeah. Listen to me. You can pick anything on this table. Yeah. Do not take it. Yeah. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if your dad can choose the item that you chose, okay? So you can't tell him what it is. He's gotta guess it. He's gotta know you well enough to know what you chose. Okay. Okay? So do you wanna show everybody what item you wanna pick? Okay. Okay, okay. Leave it right there. All right, now we're gonna now we're gonna see. So he chose this one, guys. Now we're gonna see if Mr. Rick can figure that out, okay? Ew. No, you stop it. We're not doing that game. All right. So, Jay's chose an item on the table. He's not going to say anything. Sit down. You can't tell me what it is. I have to guess. We're not going to see what it is. Tongue. We're not going to... Yeah. 
Does Mr. Rick know Jace? Can you guys knock it off? All right, I think I know what he picked. All right, hold on. So we're going to start. I'm going to point to some items. Mr. Rick, you tell me if you think that it was the item that Jace picked. Okay. Um, I'm going to say no. He ain't going to pick an orange. That would be a good pick, but I'm going to have to say no. No. We know how much Jace likes Minecraft. I know, but he didn't. And we also pick know it. he likes pizza. No. Nope. But of course he likes cheese pizza. Yeah, he doesn't mm. like that. What about a bunny? No. Nope. A vase for some pretty flowers for his mommy. I mean he would, but he didn't today. So no? No, no. on all those items? No. Hmm. What about Yes. Uh -uh. What? <laughs> That's amazing. All right, so let's do it again one more time. Let's see if uh, if Mr. Rick can pick it, uh, pick the item again. So Jace, go away. You can't peek. No cheating. All right, Jace. All right, let's pick one. More. Pick a pick a brand new thing. Don't say nothing. Let's pick a new item. What do you want to pick? He's not looking. What do you want to pick? That one. I don't know what I picked. Let's see. All right. Let's start again. Mr. Rick. Mm -hmm. Did he pick this? I mean, I'd be a fool to say yes to that because he picked it earlier, so I'm not to say no. Hmm. No. No. Definitely not. I mean, I would, but he didn't. Nah. No. 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 How you know? No. That's, that's, my stuff is my favorite. The vase, though, for real? No. He didn't pick the vase? I don't think he did. I don't think he did. Huh. He picked... I was going to say this earlier. <laughs> was I right? Is yeah. it right, Jace? I was gonna pick this like very soon. I was okay, just thinking. Okay, Dad. Okay, go back in the room. One more time. Yep. Try one more time. You, you gonna pick a new peek. item? No peeking. I'm not peeking. No peeky. No peeking. Oh. <laughs> all right, all right. No peeking. Be fair. All right, Jace. Okay, I'm going with this. Okay, okay. You sure? All right, last time, guys. Let's see if he can get three for three. Come on out, Mr. Rick. Let's see what happens. Oh, Jace is nervous. Do you I think he's going to get it, yes or no? I think he's going to get it. Yeah, why? I don't know. <laughs> is, he <tri> <laughs> is he tripping you out? This is kind of weird how well he knows I, what you picked. I think it's the outfit. All right. All right. Let's try. Now, it's got to be the Minecraft. Nope. Uh, uh, car again? No, definitely not. Scissors. No. Nope. Bunny. No. Nope. Flower. No. Nope. Grapes. No. Fish? I really like no. fish. Pizza. Yep, I like pizza. No, it's not it. Mini? Nope. Matching game? Nope. Vase? No. Um, dog? Yes. How oh, did you? Okay, I'm so done. <laughs> Can I tell you? <laughs> so it looks like yes, Mr. Yes, Rick really yes. knows you Jace. Know so he can pick all the items correctly. Look, I'm gonna show you what we did. Me and mommy. And Jace. Me and mommy cheated. Look, he's not very happy about look, it. Look, look, look. He expected to trick his dad at least once. Stop doing it. Look, every time mom picked this, said, "Does he? Did he pick this?" And I said, "No." The next item she pointed at is the one you picked. So we worked together to trick you. Dad, no cheating. <laughs> We, God doesn't have to cheat. Yeah. We did pull a little trick so we could get the answers correct. But we did it because we wanted to show that we have to kind of 
pull some little okay, tricks mom, to get every you. single thing correct. But God does not. He knows everything because he created you and he created me. And when you create something, you know it inside and out from beginning to end. And so I hope you guys have fun doing this game. It's a lot of fun. Thank you for joining me. God loves you and so do we. Bye.